Hi and welcome to the best of IPMAT series. Today's question is a classic Venn diagram question with three categories. Okay, but what is asked is not really straightforward. So it's a good IPMAT level question. Uh, please uh, try your hand at the question before you see the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free to avail this please click on the link mentioned under the description box below happy learning okay starting with the solution the first thing let's try and get the diagram uh, in place and let's see if we can put the numbers in the right places okay first thing is we get the box uh, then you get the uh, uh, the right hand corner never forget that box that box basically means uh, values which do not belong to the three circles that we are going to draw okay now let's get to the first circle second circle and the third circle great okay uh, so the three circles are hindi english and tamil okay total the, the data is given in terms of percentage so the total box is going to be 100% Okay, and people who are not speaking any of the languages, we will put them in the bottom right corner. Okay, great, fine. Now, first thing, what have they given? 50% of the population can speak in exactly one language amongst Hindi, English and Tamil. Exactly one language. Remember, exactly one language are these regions, what I am writing. Okay, so what do we know? We know that A plus B plus C is equal to 50%. That's what is given, correct? Very important is the next statement. 40% of the population can speak in at least two of these three languages. Very important. They have not said that 40% can speak in two languages. They have said 40% can speak in at least two of the three languages, which means 40% is people who can speak two languages as well as three languages. Correct. So, the two language and three language, uh, let's, if I have to actually name the regions, they are going to be D, E, F and G. So, D plus E plus F plus G is 40%. Remember that. Okay. So, let's just make, make a quick note here. So, D plus E plus F plus G is 40. Now, reading ahead, number of people who cannot speak in any of the three languages, the bottom right corner, okay, is twice the number of people who can speak in all these three languages. Great. So, basically, what are they saying? They are saying the bottom right corner is twice G. Okay. Now, remember that people who can speak one language, people who can speak two languages, people who can speak three languages and people who cannot speak any language or rather people who can speak zero languages. All of these have to add up to 100% logically. Correct. They have said 50% can speak one language mm -hmm. and two language plus three languages 40% they have said. Correct. So, one language, two language, three language is 50 plus 40, 90 percent and hence people who can speak zero language is 10 percent. That's what you should have figured out from this question. Once again, people who can speak one language is 50 percent, people who can speak two and three, at least two, right, is 40 percent. So, these two add up to 90 percent. People who can speak one or two or three is 90 percent, which means people who cannot speak any language is 10 percent. Now, from that statement, they have said that people who cannot speak any is twice the number of people who can speak three languages. So, this should give the value of G as 5. Okay, I am just going to write 5 here. So, this is 5. So, D plus E plus F now is 45. Okay, uh, 35, sorry. So, D plus E plus F should be equal to 35 now because we are putting G as 5. Clear? Okay, now let us go ahead to the question. If 52% of the population can speak in Hindi, so, this value is given to be 52. 25 percent of the population can speak exactly in one language amongst Tam English and Tamil. Exactly in one language amongst English and Tamil. So, B plus C is equal to 25. Correct? What we are asked? We are asked percentage of population who can speak in Hindi and in exactly one more language amongst English and Tamil. So, Hindi is for sure, but you should be able to uh, speak Hindi plus English or Hindi plus Tamil. Hindi plus English is actually D and Hindi plus Tamil is actually E. So, what we are asked? We are asked D plus E. Correct. 
So this is the on the left hand side what we have is our given data and on the right hand side what uh, 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 is what we are asked d plus e. Okay, so let's look at how do we get. Now it's pure uh, play with algebra. Okay, so now let's look at this equation b plus c 25 and a plus b plus c 50. From this you can figure out that a is 25. Correct. So you know that a is 25 now. Now look at the circle of Hindi. Now the total circle is 52 out of which a is uh, uh, 25 and the, the middle value is 5. So, 25 plus 5 30 and therefore, 52 minus 30 will be d plus c. So, d plus c is nothing but 22. So, that should be our answer option 1, 22 percent. So, yes, if you are uh, in this question, I think uh, the most crucial aspect, uh, you know, if you have to make sure that you get to the answer and do not go wrong in the midway is just to understand the data basically be able to translate the English language into the regions of the Venn diagram uh, accurately. And after that, it is pure play algebra. Like I do not think the question is difficult from the calculation perspective. If you are able to understand where to put the data exactly in the Venn diagram, I think the, the, the job is pretty much over. Yeah, so the, the replica question that we have designed is also pretty much on the same line. So uh, try that and put your answer in the comments and we will see you in the next video. All the best and happy learning. Thank you.